a quick video on disassembling your Sith holocron. You have six screws here underneath these posts. You need to get these uh, posts, plugs, whatever you want to call them, out. So what I do is I take a hobby knife. I go in at the edge here and dig it out like that. Do be careful though, they can go and fly across the room. So, real simple. I'll do one more here. Hopefully, this one doesn't fly across the room. Like so. So, I'm going to do the rest of them. And there we go. That is all of those plugs out. Next step. Start unscrewing. And make sure your hobby knife is off to the side. All the screws are out. One more step before it will come apart, because if you try to take it apart right now, it doesn't want to come apart. The reason is the door is in the way. So what I have found is um, you grab the door, pinch it with your index and thumb like this here, and you're going to torque it, I believe, away. Yeah. So like you're, you're pivoting it over here on, on the far side. You're pivoting it, pivoting it like that out, and it just comes right out. Uh, you could just brute force it straight out, but you might snap the plastic on the edge here or the clip on the side like that. You can see that mine is kind of already looking a little ragged because I've taken it apart a few times. But now the top comes off. And the first thing to be aware of here is you will have these capacitive touch buttons here, which are just little pieces of copper tape with wire soldered to them. They're on the top, they're attached, soldered to the main board here. What I have found is when you need to work with this thing, um, stick one of the corners inside the top like this and you will have plenty of slack to move around and operate. So the next step is remove this top piece here. This top piece has these shafts with gears on them and it also has uh, the LEDs on it and it will come out in one go. Uh, you will have to unplug a couple of wires here first. In actuality you can go ahead and unplug all of these here. Um, I need to unplug first over here. Uh, this is the USB port here. This is where the power comes in. You can see there's a couple little LEDs on it as well. This connector over here, these two wires go off to the battery which is underneath the uh, crystal chamber there. Uh, these wires are hardwired. You can't do anything about that but there is this one connector here. Get in there. I'm trying to pull that out. That is your LED connection. The LEDs, the lights, are controlled by the main board over here. It travels through this centerpiece here and comes out the other side to tell these two LEDs here what color to turn. So that's one side taken care of. On the other side here, we need to find that same four wire connector, which is this one on the far right, like so. We also have a switch here. This is the switch, it goes all the way up here, uh, that detects when the, the holocron's been turned on. There's a gear in the center here with a little lobe on it that as it spins, it presses on the switch that's here. And that's how it knows it, that it's turned on. So we'll need to unplug that switch like so. And then we have some screws that need to come out. We have three, I believe. It's this screw here, this screw here, and then there's one tucked down in there behind the main PCB. So I'm going to take care of that real quick. Just getting that third screw out but that's behind the logic board here. There is, and maybe you can see it, this little plastic tab right here. That is also held in. It's loose. It's held in by that screw. Once the screw comes out, this will fall away. Just leave the screw in place and you'll be fine. I'm going to remove this green connector here just because 
uh, it's going over that plastic tab and I don't want the plastic tab to have any uh, resistance that's going to you know, keep it in place while the top comes off. There we go. That is the top off. You can see that little plastic piece I was talking about. I'm leaving the screw there. You want to keep track of the screws because they are different sizes. The long screw here, there are three of those that held that that uh, um, that that main LED piece in place. The outer screws that held the case on are shorter. So just be aware of that. Otherwise, you put the wrong screws in the wrong place, and you could. It either won't stay together or you'll damage it. So here we have another switch here. That was the green wire that I removed earlier. That switch tells it when the uh, the, the door for the, the crystal chamber has opened up and then closed again by that switch being pushed on. That coil of wire is your uh, RFID antenna. Um, a couple of things here. I have already modified this a little bit, so you're going to see a couple of things here that won't be on yours if you haven't opened it before. This is a connector to the speaker. I have it. It was soldered directly to the board. I have made this its own connector, so it's easy to come apart. Um, the RFID antenna norm normally just is soldered to the side here. Again, I've added a connector here so I can disconnect that and then down at the bottom here these two white wires that go back up to those capacitive touch buttons those are soldered directly to the board I have again added a connector so what's left we have these two other connectors at the top we have the, the power connector that provides power to the main board and last but not least what does that go to is that more power that might be more power and there is your main logic board you can see down at the bottom here it says SPK for speaker that's the speaker connector the reason I don't have it a connector to solder to the board like this one is because there's no room when you put this in here there's not enough room for that connector. You need to do this little, if you want to make the speaker uh, have a connector so you can unplug it, you need something like this. This connector is very, very barely fitting. It brushes up against the corner of, the, of this battery here. Um, I probably should do something similar to the speaker for the uh, capacitive touch buttons as well. Um, you might notice if you're looking down here, you might notice one of those plugs looks a little bit different if this wants to focus. This one right here looks a little bit different. That's because I had to replace it. It looked like this one, but just from opening up and disconnecting it, the pins bent and eventually wore away and the connector fell off, so I had to put a new connector. These connectors are uh, Molex PicoBlade, 1.25 millimeter connectors two pin connectors, three pin connectors, four pin connectors, but those should all be are, are compatible with Molex Pico Blade. Anyways, that is your disassembled Sith Holocron. Uh, reassembly is the same steps, just in reverse. Um, the only tricky part worth pointing out is that when you're reassembling it, you have these gears here, right? I run down here to these gears. Those connect with the the, uh, the 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 what do we want to call those pyramids, um, <laughs> and uh, to turn the thing on and off. When you put this back together, you want to make sure that this is in the off position up here, but the top, which I believe is if you, if you turn these bottom gears here, any of these three bottom gears, with the with the opening for the uh, the crystal chamber there facing you, turn it 
uh, counterclockwise all the way and that should put it in the off position and then you're ready to go because if you have it in the uh, fully uh, clockwise position then you go to put it back this thing is going to start off on and to turn it off you'll have to turn the the switches here in a direction that they won't turn because they're mechanically limited in what how far they can turn see it only turns like that it won't it won't turn the other way so that's the, the the biggest gotcha here and so when you're putting it back together even before you've got this all screwed down just hold it in place put your thumb in there push down a little bit so you got a good connection with these gears on the corners here and try it out and keep an eye up here for that little switch see if you can see it getting pressed down when you turn it and if you don't or actually if it, this is already plugged back in and everything if it has power then it'll turn on and off and you can just you know go by that that's the big gotcha here putting this back together is making sure that these gears are in the right position before you screw them down and this stupid thing came off so as much as I tried to not have that happen, I'll have to worry about that, putting this back together now, too. But there you go. That is your Sith Holocron disassembled.